Yo everyone, back again with another video. So you might be thinking, hmm, shall I upgrade my current Ryzen 7 3700X to a 5800X or the 5900X? And I know I've been thinking that for the past two months. But then I thought to myself, you know what? Why not just overclock it and see where I go? And today I reach a score of 5400 on Cinebench R20 and it's actually running at 4.45 gigahertz max. Right, so I'm going to press go on the Cinebench. And I should hit 5400 exactly or nearly enough. And this is running in real time. Ryzen 7 3700X. All calls overclocked to 4.45. And of course, I'm going to show you the BIOS, um, show you the BIOS settings in a bit after this. But this is amazing. Eight cores, 16 threads. Running at 4.45 gigahertz. There you go. This is the Cinebench R20. 5,400 points. It's amazing, it's absolutely amazing. And then let me show you computer build. Thirty gigabytes of RAM. Bloody bloody blah. Let's take a look at the BIOS settings real quick. to try and go for 4.5 gigahertz but 4.5 gigahertz I couldn't um, couldn't finish the Cinebench uh, benchmark smashing the delete key right here now here's my overclock settings if anyone know so the CPU ratio is 44.50 um, the base clock 100.5 so the, def the default base clock is uh, 100 um, <clears throat> and get overclocked to my uh, DDR4 memory to 3400 MHz that's default running at 3200 MHz and I guess here's the important part I'm not you know people say you don't want to put too much voltage on it and it will unstables at 1.36 volts and I set an offset of 0 0.050 volts as well just so it can lower the voltage when uh, there's not a 100% load on the CPU core and for the P PDO the precision boost overclocked I set the PBT limit to 300 TDC and ECT limit to 230 and it says 4.47 but actually when it's running it's 4.45 so it's not too bad at all not too bad at all and I can run games quicker I guess at the moment I'm running, only running a GTX 1080 Ti so it's like 5 FPS more because <laughs> I'm GPU bound anyways so until I get to like a RTX 3090 or whatever this overclock won't really make a difference but it definitely does improve the 0.1% FPS scores so 
passer. See you in the next video.